I can't believe that my daddy didn't allow me to take his car because I am still grounded. Even worse, those bitches didn't think that I am the richest girl in the world, and no one will ever said that I am greedy. Right, Olivia? I agree with you, Cecile. Your daddy should be allied Stati Uniti and our friend in your car and drive to Starbucks. But instead, you got grounded, so you didn't allow to take the car. At least there is a Starbucks area at the next station. Should we drop out at the Starbucks while being grounded? Yeah, we should do right because my daddy hates me because I am a very Sue just like you, so I wanted to cause trouble with you. After all, you saved my crew from danger from the Mafia Angels. Excuse me, Mary Sue's. Hey you, what do you think of interrupting us from talking? Plus, how dare you call us Mary Sue's? I and my friend here aren't Mary Sue's you know. First of all, how dare you talk to me like that? Do you know that I am the queen of the Victopolis, not a smell girl having makeup on her distrusting face? Secondly, you two are taking my sits. These sites belong to me, and I pay it to the transit leaders, so get up and be a nice lady to stand up right now. What the hell? Stop lying, Karen. The trains leaders will never be allowed people to buy their own personal sits are these, plus my daddy is friends of the trains leaders and they told that never allowed to do that in their 22 years of service. Oh, so you like to talk trash to me, huh? Okay then, fight me, fight me. Fight me, fight me, fight me, fight me, fight me, fight me, fight me right fucking. Now. Fine, whatever Karen, we will beat you up. Drama Queen. Oh my god, this is one of the best fights I have ever seen in my life. Thanks to me and Olivia, we need to beat those mean and happy people. Don't come for us, because we can't see us. How dare you Cecile and Olivia? How dare you send me to jail just because I wanted those sites? You two should be nice and things will be smooth. But instead, you two talk trash about me. Now because of you two, we are in jail thanks to both of you. I hope you two are happy. Um no, Karen. It's actually your fault for bossing us the richest girl around the world, right Olivia? Oh shit. We are busted. Cecile Bernard, I can't believe from what I hear from the police that you, Olivia, and Karen fighting all over a sit. It is true or not, tell me to us right now or your grind it will be extended. Okay, fine. We fight because Karen demands those seats and is forced to stand so that is why we fight at the station. So we are sorry, and please forgive Stati Uniti. I, your father, and your friend's parents are very disappointed in you three of you. How dare you three attack each other just because you wanted to sit in the train. This is totally completely out of you three. We did not educate you in this way. We are supposed to treat you and your friend on the good side. But no, you make us sick. We are so ashamed of you girls. I am ashamed of you to father, mother, and Cecilia as parents. I am tired of you grounding me and caring about novena more than ive cause uno and an evil troublemaking group. Iate you, iate my family, iate Cecilia as parents, iate other troublemaking groups, iate Karens, iate youtubers, and iate fucking cunning punishment. Cecile Goldfinch Bernard, and Olivia L. Sankitz.
What is wrong you both of you? How dare you hate us, hate your families, hate the other friends' parents, hate other troublemaking groups, hate Karens, hate YouTubers, and hate fucking canning punishment. You have an official prejudicial homophobic psychopath monster that hates every single of the fuck it you want. And every time you don't care about shut up, 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 My. God. Olivia. Elsa. Angus. Cecile. Goldfinch. Baron. My good-for-nothing piece of trash of daughter, and her stupid witch friend. How dare you went out to Starbucks while still being grounded. You know that went out to Starbucks while grounded is wrong, and we have told you 100 times to not do it. But no, you refuse and did it wrong. And if you wouldn't go to Starbucks and kind to the lady, nothing of this would've happened. This is one of the worst moments I hear from my daughter and her friend in my entire life. Also what the hell is wrong with you two? Why you two are like this? Mr. Yermoni, the reason why we do this is because we are so tired of people talking stuff in life that robot so that why we break the rules and not to pick up. To the lady. Oh Jesus. God, this is one of the laziest excuses that I have heard from my daughter. We are supposed to be in peace, not in an out of control situation. I can't stand looking at one of the worst troublemakers in Victopolis. That's so fucking it. We are going to do something worse. It is called purple. So lie down on the floor and we will step on your body. <laughs> 